All right, we can get started then before I before I do burst out in tears. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at the We Miss the Exit show. We're here to do our uh, NBA King of the Tag, your it show, where one team has the trophy and all the rest of the teams that we've selected have to try to win the trophy from them when they play them in the regular season. I am Brent. I am joined here with Brian. What's up? Brian, and I'm also here with Kurt. Hey, welcome me back. That's right. Welcome all you back. Yeah, I was like, the first one on was Kurt, and I was like, oh, we get a Kurt show. All right. It's been a while. How, here's how I know it's been a while. You still had like that fish Aquaman background from when Aiden was last on the show. Yeah, so it's well, been a while. I what saw was that? that too. Yeah, what was that, December? Probably. Mm. So it's It's been a while. Yeah. All right. I'm really happy we did that because we we discovered the pissed off rabbit. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the pissed off <laughs> boss rabbit was awesome. Farther out. I'm in Mexico. 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 Oh, you should be in the office. You should have been what doing, are you doing your work. In Mexico, kid. <laughs> Get back. To- I think it was funny. <laughs> we should we should do one show where all of us have to be that guy. Yes. All right. Oh, oh, all right. So I made these standings a day before or whatever. So, uh, Kurt, I changed this up a little bit. I know you haven't been here in a while, but um, I pretty much showed last week's what everybody's standings were and what this week looks like. And it uh, looks like. Uh, you gained a little bit of traction in the stat that doesn't matter, Kurt. How you feeling? I gained traction in the other stat, too. Didn't I get a win? Yeah, look. I went from six to seven. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, look at that. True. So I'm, I'm getting wins all over the place here. You are. Everybody yeah. actually did increase. I, I do watch every show, even if... Uh, even if, even if you're not a part of it, uh, I'm not part of it. Yeah. Okay. All right. At least we have one viewer watching the whole thing. All right. All right. I'll t- I'll take one. We All do right. this for you. Yes, just for you, Kurt. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I've I got some wins my team, and I picked up a couple wins. Uh, I don't have two anymore. I'm at seven. Seven. Yeah, uh, I think all of us are a little stalemate. It's gonna be tough to catch I'm up. I'm gonna in get there. eight tonight too. So you think so? All right. Well, speaking of yeah. that, hold on, hold on. Speaking, speaking of that, speaking of which, let's check the next one. So as of right now, Mr. Brian has the trophy with our very own New York Knicks. Brian, how are you feeling with that? That grab. Very happy because I picked the Knicks for like really just this moment, you know, just to grab it with them. And also, this is the first time that we've seen a recap with four different colors on there. Ooh, so that's pretty good. Is. That, I uh, like that, the competitiveness. Is, that is kind of cool looking. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like my team is just like... Like, I'm already throwing the towel. Like, I, I wouldn't two here, two there, whatever, but, like... It... You're in second place. Yeah. Yeah, but I haven't... No traction I'm in, third in a long a lot, time. and I'm not quitting. <laughs> I'm in right. last by even more. It comes down to also that last Apple. game, so... Yeah, because Speak- if you so... have the trophy at the end, you get half. Yeah. By the way, did we put money on this? I don't remember. True. We're supposed to. No one sent me any money, though. Oh, oops! I have I have Venmo. Yeah, story of my life, Kurt. <laughs> yeah, I so saw Brian. I, I hold on. We'll we'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's see uh, what what it's looking like. All right, so the next next matchup is actually tonight. Now it's against the Clippers, Kurt's Clippers, and I and they have the Clippers pretty heavily favorited in this one. Uh, uh, Kurt, give us your take on this first. With only John Wall out, Paul George. Kawhi Leonard's supposed to be playing. Clippers, I, I picked them to be one of your better teams, like your your Dark Horse teams. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? So I thought the Clippers were going to do pretty good. I think they would have held the trophy for a while if they didn't have back-to-back games and all their players being a bunch of wusses and sitting out uh, when it comes to back-to-back games. So I think now that uh, they don't have any back-to-back games until March, so I feel like they're going to have the trophy for a while. Okay, so you are definitely you're definite like Clippers are winning this game tonight no matter what. I never had a doubt. Okay, I've been saying the I was get I was saying why teams the Clippers or the Bucks. I prefer the Bucks had it. We're gonna have it by the end of Saturday night. Okay, and Brian, what's your take on it? Well, the Knicks are down five right now, but I'm not too <laughs> concerned. They're at home, even though they play worse at home than they do on the road. Uh, Brunson's back, and. I don't know. Clippers have not been a team that's been super intimidating at all this year, even though Kawhi and Paul George are both playing tonight. I think Knicks take it by three. Okay. I feel like I had a dream, like a premonition, that the Clippers were actually going to win tonight, but obviously I'm rooting for the Knicks to win this game because people are picking the Knicks to do okay in the real regular okay. season. So uh, they're picking them to do like okay. a nightmare, Brent. It does sound like a nightmare. Every dream I have is a nightmare when it comes to the Knicks. 
All right, so here's our here's our schedule. I don't know why I put the Clippers up there. It should have been the Knicks. Uh, I think I got mixed up when I was making this. I think so, you're getting a little ahead of yourself here. I, th- I think I was here. Sorry, Brian. Uh, so, it's okay. so this is supposed to be the Knicks schedule, not the Clippers schedule. Uh, what do you what do you what do you see in here, Brian? What are you thinking? I don't even care, to be honest. No? <laughs> I think we need to go to intermission and take take a look at the uh, trophy holder's schedule. Because no, no. This is so, a, so a non-trophy holder's schedule. This is the um, the Knicks schedule. This is the Knicks schedule. I just put the wrong logo. Oh, uh, okay. Because right, no, the, Clipper, the Clippers can't play themselves that. tonight. Premonition. <laughs> yeah. yeah so. um, I think they lose it on the 10th. To Philly? Okay. All right. Yeah. See, and and I kind of do like that because that means look, me, Philly, Orlando, Philly, those are my guys. So I'll I will take that. Um, Kurt, what do you what are you thinking? Uh, the Knicks are losing it tonight, right? Yeah, Knicks are gonna lose it tonight. Mm, okay. All right. I think it's actually gonna be uh, tomorrow because they're not gonna win back to back games. So I think they'll win. Excuse me. I know I said the Clippers will win. They'll pro- the Knicks will probably win tonight, and then they're gonna lose to my Philly Seventy uh, Sixers tomorrow. Well, you're wrong. They're going to lose it tonight. All right. We'll see. And then uh, Clippers going to hold it for a month. A solid month. All right. Yeah. They got the Nets, uh, I think, in a couple games, but they're going to hold it. The Nets. Uh, depends if Kyrie gets traded or not, apparently. I respect the optimism. Their next, game, their next game is against the Nets. Oh, is it? We'll see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Well, if, they, if they get over the Nets, then they got Dallas, my team, Milwaukee, my team. So... Ooh. Feeling pretty good. Yeah. So you, you better hope and that if they, they win. don't. The ball's back in my court. Right. Yeah. Because you got the Nets. So. Uh, That's right. And then I, think if the Nets, if, I think if the Nets take it, then I don't have a game against your teams for a while. Oh boy. Oh, so yeah. that means Brian, you're you're looking pretty good regardless. Like if the Knicks win tonight, they take it, they yep. keep it. Or if they lose and the Clippers take it, you're going to be playing the Clip Clippers with the Nets anyway. Yes, so we'll have to wait and see. You're looking good. All right, let's check out the next part. All right, so here's our fantasy league, and because we tied last week, I officially owe Brian twenty dollars and six cents. Two thousand six. I owe you twenty dollars and six cents because I said double or nothing that we would win, and we did not win. We tied, and it was very close. It I was, was winning going to the last day. You you scrounged the tie out of it, but you were winning for most of the week. So it was kind of like a fight back, and then you know we just broke even. I think uh, I would I would be curious to see what would have happened if neither or if one of us didn't touch our roster. Mm. I think that person would have lost. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's a good point with that too. Yep. If if we did no pickups, we drops, or anything used like seven that. Moves. Oh, and we did. Even if my last move was a strategic one, I. I made a mistake picking up Looney. I thought he was playing and it just wasn't a good look. But even if I picked someone up, they would have needed 10 rebounds to, to beat uh, us win, or to beat that us was a category that. that I needed. And I wasn't going to get, you know, someone to throw to get 20 assists. So no, no, <laughs> <laughs> still a little tied, you know? Yeah, it, it, exactly. All right. Well, I know, I know Kurt, you don't really care about all this stuff, but, um, we're we're banking. We're looking pretty good for the playoffs here, Brian and myself. So uh, I think it's going to come down to I'm going to be the three seed. Brian's going to be the four seed. We're going to upset the number one and number two team, and we're going to play each other in the championship. I'm calling it right now. Every time, every time you you just gotta say like, oh, you know, but but our team is a little bit better. But then like if you look at it, you're not, dude. You're in fourth. <laughs> I'm in third. I think you just said that backwards. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Look at the thing you just put up. I'm in third, you're in fourth. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. We'll 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 see. Hey, hey, last game of the regular season is going to come down to it. Hold on. Hold on, Kurt. Kurt, what do you think? Yeah. Like, let's say let's say Brian starts to, like, bed, and we're doing okay, and it comes down to the last week. Do you think I should throw the last week just to allow Brian into that last playoff spot? Or do you think I should <laughs> like just like have completely the just destroy <laughs> Brian eight nothing like he did for us the other day? What do you think I should do? Uh, I don't. I think you're gonna have to destroy him because otherwise he would have taken the win in the regular season. Uh, okay. All right. So beat him no matter what. But I don't think you will. 
You so. Oh, okay. All right, so you're on, you're on you, Brian's sir. side here. You're welcome. All right, you're on well, Brian's side. Well, he's just side. looking at stats. He's just looking at what's presented and reading it correctly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what teams there are. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. All right, we can do we can do that. I believe we it is four to four in the stats, though. If you look at that, like I know the ranking three, four, whatever, like that. But I believe it's four four. We own four. Brian owns four. I thought it was five three. Categories was or category wise, category wise. Yeah, yes. yeah that's I what five, I meant. Three, but I didn't. Let's see, one, two, no, yeah, three. ES, ESPN does four and four, or or eight categories. Okay, yeah, eight four cat. and four. Yep. Yeah, it, 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 it it's gonna be close. I think it's gonna be regardless. Yeah. I think Brian and I are gonna face each other in the championship. And the only reason right now why I am ahead of you is because of our face to face record. I'm um, one zero oh, and one. That's right. So even if you win, then I don't know. Then I well, we'll see. We'll see. Let's move on. One one. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's 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 move on. I'm gonna start the timer. All right. Toronto. All right. Uh, nice. Let me know when you're starting. Now. It's already started. Yeah. Go. Um, Marcus Camby. Six seconds, baby. Six seconds. That's right. Six seconds. And you know what gave it away? Was the the Denver and then coming back to New York. Because that was the Jason Kidd, Rasheed Wallace, uh, the, what he brought all the old guys back to the Knicks. I'm like, oh, that's right. He came back there or whatever. Marcus Camby. That was probably my best one. That was good. This is what's definitely a guy. This is definitely a guy. T-O-T? I, what's that? What's TOT? Total. Okay, why was it in like the middle of his stats? So that's when a, a guy gets traded in between the season. So like it'll say, uh, okay. "Hey, total for that year was this." Like if you look to the left it. column, you see yep. it the three years. Yeah. Okay, I don't remember seeing that in any of the other ones. Okay, thought that was a team I didn't recognize. This guy I definitely did not pick yet already. Mm. I don't have the time. I don't have my watch on me. This is years ago. It's a decade ago. It's, it's a guy. Uh, don't that, worry about timing me. It's a guy that was around during our pinnacle of playing 2K all the time. You say this every time. I do. Let me know if you want some hints. Detroit Pistons shooting guard. Uh, Brandon. Je- no, no, not Brandon Jennings. Um, who was around before him? Mm-hmm. I, um, just let me know if you ever want any hints. No, shut up. I, I'm not going to give them to you unless you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think about it. Even though if I don't think I can get it, I feel like I Well, here, here's the thing. It down. Here's the thing. Like, like, I don't want there to be dead air with us doing this and all and everything. But, like, I'm like, I want to give that's hints. That's why you can edit it. Anything. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that takes so much time. Actually, it's not too all bad. All right, then give me a hint for editing purposes. Well, I, hold on. Is it Karam Butler? It is not Karam Butler. I think okay. Karam Butler would have been around that time, but I think Butler was on Washington during that time when he was with Detroit. Uh, so he was a part of that super defensive team with the Detroit when they won the championship with Rasheed Wallace, Chauncey Billups, yep. Tayshaun Prince, <laughs> and this guy, Ben Wallace. I named the whole starting lineup except this guy. He was the starter. Um... His real name is not what he was known as, like like uh, um, like Magic Johnson. That's not his real name, but that's what everybody called him at all the time. Like it almost came his, it became like his unofficial first name. Hmm. Uh, he has a different one than his real name. Um, he is famous for having to have wear a protective piece of equipment while playing. Didn't have to anymore, but kept playing with it anyway because he felt like it gave him good luck. Okay, I, I think I know who I know who it no, is. Yeah, me too. Go for it. No, you you go ahead. I, <laughs> I'm not uh, gonna go over the name, but yeah. I know his face. Is it Rip Hamilton? Mm-hmm. That yes, that's name? it. Okay, yeah, there it yeah, is. Nice. Two minutes. Yep. Rip Rip Hamilton. Yep. Yep. Two two minutes. There we go. Whatever. Rip Hamilton. Nice. We have one of, one of my favorites. Not one of the best shooting guards to be terrible at sh- or at three point shooting. Not shooting, but three point shooting. He was never a really solid three point shooter. Yeah, I remember hmm. that team, that Detroit team. Yeah. I like them because they were humble, but, like, badass and kick-ass at the same time. Like, like nobody would... Ben Wallace fan. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, they, the, that, that team was so boring to watch, but I loved watching them. All right. Very nice. All right. Did you did you get oh. a name that Nick thing? Uh, I sure did. All right. Let's center yourself a redemption rep from the point guard fiasco and a chance for Brian to make some money. Name as many Nick centers as you can in the history of the team. Over under is 20 and a half. All right. Ah, oh, centers. I am not good with this. All right. So let's start with current guys. Jericho so Sims. What? Who's going to count? I, I can count. That's one. Okay, Jericho Sims, Hartenstein, Mitch Robinson, Tyson Chandler, um, Cole Aldrich. I don't know why he can't mind. Um, I don't know. Do you technically consider Randall a center, too? He played there a little bit. He's more of a power forward, but mm, I don't know if I, I don't... Know. There's that guy, Travis Knight, again. Yep. Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing is one I knew you'd get. <laughs> Should be the automatic one. Uh, Marcus Camby. Yep. Rashid Wallace. Yeah, he was almost the player I just did. He was the player I just did. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, that, that helped. Uh, there was Rashid Wallace. Uh, Antonio yep. McDice. Um, I want to say Amari Stoudemire, but technically he doesn't count. Uh, oh, he's a power forward. Technically, he does. Technically, David Lee played center. For a little bit. David Lee did play center, yeah. Channing Fry technically did too. Uh, he was more of a power forward, but he did play some center. Um, Eddie Curry. Um, he counts. Zach Randolph might. I think he was definitely more of a power forward. I don't know if he would count. But who, like, Willis Reed, like one of those guys were a center. I think Walt Clive was a point guard. Willis though. Reed. Willis Reed was sure. a center? Um, I can give you. Josh Harrelson. Yeah. Josh Harrelson. Yep. Me like an arrow. Oh, Robin Lopez. Robin Lopez. I what think about I'm clocking the guy in. they traded to Dallas? Was he ever a center? Porzingis? Yes. Oh, Porzingis technically would have been, yes. All right. Well, Kirk got yes. that one. How about Derek Rose, Tom Thibodeau, and... Oh, Joachim Noah. Did oh, Ennis Cantor. Ennis Cantor. There's one name. and there's one more. Oh, um, Mozgov. He's not the guy I was thinking, but he counts. Timothy yeah. Mozgov. Timothy. I was thinking Nerlens Noel. Oh, Noel, that's right. You did pretty good, and I've got a bounce talking all night in the group chat because all right. I know I'm going to take it home. Me too. And UNC faces, facing Duke right now. Oh, are they? Let's go. Yep. One Ooh. point game. There's a lot of good stuff going on right now, and we're here, we're here doing this show. We should probably get off and just go do things.